Freddie, join me. Come on, man. Clap your hands, everybody. <laughs> 76. It's going to be a good night. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about tonight. You can see people. You, you miss the flood. You say flooding in. You miss the initial flood. They open the gates here, and it's getting busy here quickly. Everybody very, very excited about this playing game, which is sort of stressful, if we're being honest. It's easier to know where you stand in the playoffs, but it is more exciting, and there are so many reasons why a win tonight would be so very important. I'm thinking it's going to be a blowout win. I'm saying 15, 20 points. Now, I appreciate that dude's philly rific swagger, but I think after year after year of Joel being hurt and or coming up smallish in the playoffs, not everyone shares his confidence going into this weird new play-in game deal. I could, well, there's more excitement to it, but there's also more risk to it. But I don't know. I feel like this team's different. I think they've, they've got a good vibe going on. Megan is originally from our area, but made the trip from Brooklyn after she scored a single ticket for tonight's game. The game, so I figured I'd come down for it. Hopefully, Megan will see her boys win tonight and earn a playoff series against the Knicks that would begin this weekend at Madison Square Garden. If the Sixers were to lose tonight, they would host a game Friday night against either the Bulls or Hawks. The winner of that game would face the top-seeded Celtics. Oh, and if the Friday night game is required, rapper Bad Bunny will have his show moved from Friday to Thursday night, which isn't great news for many of his fans who have very expensive tickets. You know, people make plans for this, obviously months in advance. I was really upset because I work Thursday night. I can't take off. So on every level, it's just so much better if the Sixers just win tonight against the Heat, a team that includes former Sixer Jimmy Butler, who has played very hard and very well every time he's come back to face the Sixers. Guy from the start of this story, he's still not worried. Absolutely not. We're going to de defend him at the net, and we're going to do what we got to do. We're from Philly, and that's a Philly thing. And back live, even the building, the Wells Fargo Center pumped up the video walls. By the way, if you haven't been here in a while, the Wells Fargo Center looks pretty awesome. It's kind of this uh, gray slate color now, and there's cool video walls and neon everywhere. It looks a lot different than it used to. It looks really cool and very updated. But you can see people are still coming in. It's going to be a good night, but I can't say it enough, guys. A win tonight is key, crucial. You don't want to face the Celtics. You don't want to face Celtics. They're really good this year again. And uh, so a win tonight, get in. You go play Dante DiVincenzo, local guy from Delaware. You play his Knicks team. We have a good shot against them. I think that eases the way into the playoffs. We're live at the Wells Fargo Center. Tim Furlong, NBC10 News. Clap your hands. Right. It's going to be a good night. Clapping your hands. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, Tim.